Yeah, the background outfield. I'm just literally crawling back down the slope here um, because the mixer wagon's obviously behind so it's going to be shoving me down and yesterday I could fairly feel the back end of the tractor just starting to push out a bit just down here so we'll just <clears throat> take a deep breath and hope for the best. just pushing out a wee bit just as we go for a wee bump just steady does it see there we let the wheels just started to go all right we're back to safety now back up again. Try and get a bit of speed up. Stick to the verge to get a bit of extra grip. And this is the fun part where I've got to turn in. You've got to kind of time it right. She slides down, there we go. And then, there we go. I remember the first time I did this, you just literally have to bite the bullet and go for it. London at the moment, standing with all the other farmers. The reality is the work never stops and I have got top colours to change, even in this weather. So I don't know if you can hear me, but it is freezing wind and that's like really sore hailstones on my face. So let's go gather the ears and change the colours on the tops. Must be hiding.
all bar one of my gimmers is tucked. So yeah, that's positive. So just did it up here in the race. So had the yeah, I was in here as before. Just as they ran up, changed the top colours in there. So that was fine. Again, most of this Roxy, most of this lot were tucked in the first two weeks, so there hasn't been much of the red crayons used here, so that's fine. Now just go and do the yows and see what like numbers are there. So just putting the gimmers back to the field that they came from now as there's a bit more shelter in that field and as you can see it's stinging on again. There's many not marked here either. Stand. Oh, it's cold. At least that shower's off for just now. There's another one not far away. didn't film any of that colour change because it's literally just a, a rugby tackling session um, and the gates and stuff in the shed aren't the most secure so you have to watch the owls don't bust out as well. Dad was helping me so that um, helped keep a gap but yeah it's just a case of fill your pockets with crayons and then rugby tackle them, quickly swap them and let them go again. So yeah there's only three owls between the two lots not with a top mark on so that means there's one gimmer and three yows in four weeks that have got no mark yet so colors all changed to blue that'll be the last color change now and i'll just leave them um and next time I'll take them in harness will come off tops will come out and yows will go back together gimmers will go back together and put them out to um the hill again where they will stay until january just watching water here, the hose pipe's finally thawed, so I'm just 
filling up this tub of water for these cows and it's full. So I'll switch that off and then uh, yeah I think I'm going to put a bail out to the yowlams as well. Um, it's like tonight's meant to be quite cold, more snow. Um, this week's meant to be getting colder I think. Speaking maybe in a minus seven but whether that'll happen or not I don't know. But we'll wait and see. Snowy morning. With another layer of snow. And more shit in the truck. First job of the morning is to clear away all the snow from in front of this shed. And then it starts snowing again, so waste of time probably. Then next up is the bedding, so all the cows get clean sheets again before they get their breakfast. are happy so they're all fresh bedding and fresh food so calves have just been let out of their creeps again you can see here that they enjoy flying up and down when the cows are all in about eating typical just when you're about to open a gate a hail shower comes on so now we're up the hill away to feed the spring cows that you can see are all sheltering around this ruin here these cows are up about a thousand feet above sea level here so the snow is slightly deeper as you can see but cows are still in good nick, they're happy enough so let's get these trailers filled. a bit of a jam on the road so they started coming back down towards where the, the trailers get filled so just heading back up with it now take it up back up to the top of the hill for them and you can see they're just making their way back up in good form first trailer filled and back up now to go and fill the other three be pretty but my goodness it is freezing and uh, yeah not fun to work in yeah the bike ran out of fuel Doesn't look like it'll be going off anytime soon again. Yeah, why did I bother clearing this? <laughs> That's gonna be tomorrow's job first thing again.
another day, another few inches of snow. And so the fun begins. <clears throat> start sliding backwards, start going at an angle, and then let her go. She'll take the time to knock it. Fab. Time to go on the clean up again. With the auger bucket and the loader on the ramp, just a wee bit of salt and away she went. Thankfully, nothing was damaged. Now, with having more snow on the ground, it's real thick, heavy stuff. So just a way to put out more blocks to the yows, keep their energy and protein levels up, obviously whilst they're still tupping. So popping some more of these, just having to dig them out first before I can actually get them out. But here we go, let's get some more blocks out to the yows. In case you weren't sure how actually deep it was, this is my knee. So you can see in some places, obviously not all places, in some places it's above my knee. Which, as you can imagine, is very hard to walk in. So I've caved, I've put a bale of silage out to my texels here so obviously just the way the weather is and hopefully these girls are most of them are over halfway in lamb now so we want to keep their body condition their energy their protein levels up and uh, just popped a bale and a fresh block out to them And then we go again. So same story, just a different day. Another few inches of snow, another few inches of snow to clear, bed, feed, etc. Every morning starts the same now until May. Spot of driveway cleaning now. Not too bad, but I'm gonna throw a bit of salt down here just because it shows a wee bit icy still. But hopefully, the sun being out will help. Maybe just melt those wee bits there. Yeah. It's pretty, but my god, it's a pain in the ass. And again, feeding the cows on the hill. So, I've been feeding them every two days this week just because of the weather. When it's slightly better, we can tend to get away with every third day. I'm putting bales out to the yows. So this is a lot earlier than I would have liked to. But obviously the way the weather is, we don't really have much option. I'm just putting them out to my earlies at the moment. So the yows that are uh, main lambing yows are they're still okay. They're on li lower lying fields, and and I've seen them going about scraping. So they're okay. The snow is quite soft still, so it's allowing the yows to scrape it, dig it, dig down to it, um, which isn't too bad. It's if we get real hard frost now and it goes solid, then they'll really struggle to, to get down to scrape it. Um, so just going up with four bales out to the earlies here, and we'll see how long that lasts them. I'm just giving them earlies because obviously they are hopefully that wee bit further on in lamb and I mean the lamb will still be about the size of a pea but still um, hopefully this will just give them a wee something. They are on higher rougher ground as well so um, we'll see how they get on. The yow lambs are also up here so this is my forage rate which I'm very concerned about. Um, I also don't want to waste it, but it is, it's now buried in snow. So 
is it going to die off? Are the leaves going to die off? Will it be okay in the snow, but if the frost comes, will it die? I really don't know. The oil lambs are still chewing away at the stalks there. Um, when it does come time to shift the fence again, it's not going to be easy. But you can see there that they are, they're fairly chewing down the stalks, which is good. Um, because I obviously don't want to waste it. So I'm in two minds, do I give them the whole bit and let them eat the leaves, because obviously the leaves will go quicker than the stalks will, or what do I do? Um, they obviously still have a bale of silage too. So yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. What should I do? In the meantime, I am just giving, trying to get back up with these two bales to the earlies, but it's tricky. Shall we see? So you can see, they've not taken them long to find the bales. A few of them are away scraping on the tracks that I've made. So I'll put these two out here as well and hopefully it'll help the congestion. Well, the first bale's out to the mule yows. Had to be done. Um, I think we have an amber warning for snow tomorrow. I mean, as if we didn't have enough. So yeah, amber warning. I think they're suggesting that you shouldn't be travelling tomorrow. Shouldn't be going out, so... Yeah, we'll see how bad that comes. Um... <clears throat> Every morning this wo this week we've woken up with another few inches of snow, so see what tomorrow brings. But yeah, bales out to yows just now, so hopefully they'll get their bellies full and they'll tuck down for tonight and prepare for this weather that's coming. Stay tuned to find out what that is. So I can confirm that the amber warning didn't really come to much for us. Um, the the temperature sort of rose slightly and the the snow sort of turned to sleety wet rubbish. So thankfully it didn't come to anything too bad. And we've seen a bit of thaw actually today as well. So that's really good. Uh, this next week's giving quite mild again, I think. So... It's just going to cause a mess around everything. The fields are just going to be so saturated. Potentially the river might bust, burst its banks again. Who knows? One extreme to the other. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this uh, snowy version of winter routine. <laughs> uh, 
Um, that's us well into the routine now, so it's very much a case of feed in bed everything first thing in the morning and uh, then see see where the, ta the day takes you after that. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you, as always, for watching. If there's anything that you'd like to see more of or see explained, etc., please do let me know in the comments and I will try my best to cover it. We are sort of entering our slightly quieter spell now, so getting caught up on holidays. Uh, Cattleman, he's off at the moment. I might try and take a day here and there, so videos might be not as frequent. Um, I'll try and still do one, at least one a week, but I also don't want to bore you with the same winter routine that I'm sure some of you are doing yourselves. But please let me know. I hope you're still enjoying it. Please do let me know. On the merchandise side of things, there is two new items have now gone live. So we have a um, sports t-shirt and we also have a rugby shirt. I have got some things in the pipeline which will be coming hopefully in the next week but I will of course share it all um, as and when. Please do feel free to check out my merch store online and if you fancy grabbing yourself a wee goodie for Christmas or just treat yourself, why not? Please do feel free to check it out. Last orders for guaranteed Christmas delivery are 12th of December, so please don't get caught out um, on that if you are needing something for Christmas. But otherwise, I hope you have enjoyed this. Thank you as always for watching and I hope you have a lo lovely Sunday. We'll see you for the next one.